Welcome to Averno City. It may look peaceful from here, but trust me, it's rotten to the bone. That's where we come in, Averno's finest. We swore an oath to protect this city, to look out for the citizens walking those streets below. There's bad guys, and there's good guys, and then there's us, all balancing on a knife edge, fighting each other just to survive. But it's a fight we're losing, and everybody knows it. We're understaffed, underpaid, and overworked. Worse than that, we got targets on our backs, and every low-life punk and thug thinks they can take aim. Heck, a few of us might even deserve those targets. Not all of Averno's finest are that fine. We got our fair share of rot, too. What good is an oath of honor if you got no honor to betray? But me, I believe in the badge. That chunk of metal means something. And hey, some days the good guys come out on top. But most days, most days not so much. All the while, the fight rages on. The lucky ones get a flag and a plaque. The unlucky ones get a flag and a 21-gun salute. Why do we do it? Truth is, for some of us, it's all we know. But for others, it's in our blood. And thank you for joining me for the demo of The Precinct. And they remain at large. Chandler, Sayers, you're covering downtown. Keep them peeled. These guys are no joke. You got a bus. All right, I know you're dying to get out there. Can't wait. But before you all charge into the blue, I want to introduce you to our newest tender lamb fresh out of the academy. Bah! Where's Bo Peep when you need her? Yeah, I could tell you where she was last night. This officer mm. graduated from the academy at the top of his class. Yeah, that and 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee. And Nick Cordell Jr. What? No way. Will obviously have some big shoes to fill. Jesus, what the... Seriously? They assigned him here? Kowalski, if I may. I don't have to tell anyone in here about the late Chief Cordell. His stellar record. The respect you had for him. His untimely death. I especially don't have to tell Recruit Officer Cordell, who's lived with it every day of the last five years. But there is one thing I do want to remind you of. Every single one of you took an oath to protect this city, its residents, and your fellow brothers in blue. That's what matters. I don't care what your last name is, who your daddy was, or who you hang out with on your day off. Our worth comes from what we do, not who we know. I want you to welcome Officer Cordell, but I'm not asking you to take it easy on him. On it. Or hard on him. He's a cop. Just like you. Just like me. We're the ones out there making the hard choices. And those choices are what make us who we are. And Cordell, you're gonna have to learn the streets and the precinct the same way these mooks did. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Crystal, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, officers. Watch, Commander. Appreciate it, Chief. Sergeant Kelly? Yeah, boss? The Rook's with you. I pulled the last one. Why do you think I'm giving you this one? Because I did something in a past life? Oh, you did something? <laughs> I'll alert the media. Uh. All right, squad. Let's get out there and make Averno City proud. Yes, ma'am. Time to pound pavement. Come on, Rook. Let's go for a drive. It's, it's not important, and it's just a little thing, but the voice actor for the the main uh, the black cop didn't quite match for me. Let's see what Averno City has in store for us today. Right? I like it. It is controller recommended. Oh, yeah, all right. All right. Welcome to the ACPD, kid. Time for our first mission, sustenance. But, uh, you can drive. My hip's been acting up lately. Oh, and, uh, don't worry about the fellas. 
They like to act tough, but that's just because they don't have my natural good looks and winning personality. I nickname him Schmitty. You like I should name him Schmitty. Oh no, they're trusting me to drive, guys. Uh, I thing. bet you learn all kinds of fancy driving at the academy, but for now, let's just take it slow and steady. Don't want to stress the paint job on your first day. Swing by the hot dog stand in Chinatown. There's a parking bay there. So, I wasn't going to play this game, but I <laughs> read a news article on my phone that said that this was GTA, but you're a cop. And I don't know, that kind of sparked my interest. Hopefully the seatbelt was on. Good job, rookie. Time for some chow. Zoinks. Why are we zoinking? Ah, tube steak. Breakfast of champions. How'd you take yours, kid? Uh, the works. The works. A maximalist. I can respect that. What's the damage, Fareed? Leo, my friend. For you, no charge. Fareed, you old softy. You earn that tip every time, don't you? Ah, breathe it in, kid. Best part of the day. Besides, you can't patrol on an empty stomach. You know, your old man liked his dogs, too. Ah, of course you do. We came up through the academy together. Took different paths when we got on the force, though. He wasn't gonna let anything get in his way. And me, well, let's just say, water finds its level. And my level is, uh, easy mode. Ah, Christ on a crutch. Another beautiful moment ruined. Oh well, that's what they're paying us for, right? When responding to an emergency, activate your lights and siren. This will alert other vehicles to your presence and they'll clear a path for you. Central, this is Unit 84, responding code 3. 10484, be advised, suspects are heavily armed. Approach with caution. Okay, kid. You wanted the real deal? This is it. Shoot while aiming. Enter cover. Now remember, they get one warning. If they don't throw them down, we take them down. Get ready. Police! Freeze! Drop your weapon! Hold on! Doesn't look like they're gonna give us a choice. Suspect KIA. Received. You waiting for a written invitation? Arrest them! This is Bree Bookman in the ACTV Eye in the Sky, the number one news chopper in Averno City. We're downtown where police are engaged in a fierce shootout following yet another bank robbery. It's not clear yet whether this is the notorious August gang or... Uh, hold on! There's movement at the back of the building. More criminals coming out. They're boarding a vehicle. It's a dark van and it's... Oh my goodness. Keep it tuned to ACTV, folks. Looks like we're in for a police pursuit. Okay. 
Having a busy first day. Get closer! Suspect vehicle identified in Mercer Heights. If a suspect is endangering lives, you're authorized to use uh, lethal force. Be careful not to harm civilians. Call for backup when needed. Always give suspects an opportunity to surrender peacefully by issuing a voice order. When their resistance meter is de fully depleted, they'll surrender. Determined suspects may not respond to voice orders. Don't forget to make the caller. Eighty-four to Central. We got a ten-fifteen. Pursuit has been terminated. Copy that, eighty-four. All units, stand down. I repeat, stand down. Whew! You did good, kid. Not everyone handles a pursuit like that on their first day. over like three people and took out a bunch of street stuff. Come on, Cordell. There's someone I want you to meet. I want to watch him. Okay. <laughs> mean Gene? What's today's major malfunction? Oh, the usual. Misfiled evidence, sloppy dockets, illegible handwriting, contaminated evidence. I'm surprised some of your friends here made it out of grade school. Cordell. Meet Eugene, our evidence guy. Eugene Papadopoulos, at your service. 
Did Kelly try the old, you drive my hip hurts routine on you yet? Hey! <laughs> Thought so. He doesn't tend to lift a finger unless there's a gun drawn or a chance he might get pizza. Anyway, my job is to know where everything is. Which basically means tracking down whatever you humps, misfile, mislabel, or otherwise misplace. Uh, we do our best. Oh, I'm well aware of this unit's, uh, limitations. Anyway, when you collect any evidence, you come see me. I'll make sure it's safe. You're a peach, Gene. Never change. Wasn't planning on it. All right, kid. You did good today. But that won't mean a fart in a windstorm tomorrow. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the morning. Unless I die in my sleep. God, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, and your shift at your... Alright, I guess Mondale's great here. Morning, Cordell. Tidy work yesterday. Keep that up and you'll be leaving Kelly in the dust before he even has time to retire. Love you too, Kowalski. I know we dropped you right into the thick of it on your first day, but fundamentals are important too. What she means to say is that parking tickets are how the city pays the bills. Come on, Kelly. You know that isn't true. This city hasn't paid its bills in years. Regardless, today is going to be about old-fashioned police work. You're going to walk a beat and maybe straighten out a little bit of this bent old city. Check your handbook for the violations to look out for. Uh, handbook? A lot of reading. I'm lazy. I <laughs> uh, guess we better earn our paychecks. Okay, there are six types of parking violations. Obstructing a fire hydrant, uh, opposite the flow of traffic, too close to a crossing, on the sidewalk, in a no parking zone, and parking meter exploit. So we're just... Let's go find some parking violations. There are six different parking violations to look for. Blocking a hydrant, parking in the opposite direction of traffic, too close to a crossing or on the sidewalk. Oh, and of course, parking in the no parking zone. Oh, and don't forget expired parking meters. Just be sure a vehicle is parked illegally before issuing a ticket. You can't take it back. Ah, here's one. Can you see what parking violation this bozo is committing? Good job. The handbook shows all the violation types. People are allowed to use parking bays until the meter expires. When you inspect the meter, zero minutes remaining means it has expired. It's worth checking the meters at bays that are in use. There's a lot of people who don't like to pay their dues these days. Is it expired? Give him a ticket. Hey, you're getting the hang of this ticketing. Cause I bumped into him. He's like, ah. man, the police brutality. You'll come across area. different crimes as you walk your beat. You could be issuing parking tickets one minute, then chasing an armed thug the next. My advice. Be prepared for anything. Will you look at this? Write them up. You're a natural. Let's carry on. Got eyes on a vandal. Go handle it, kid. Spray can bandits in action. Damn, I'm dropped. 
You have the right to remain silent. Excellent. That handbook will help you stick to the rules. Never feed a map. We should check for any more spray can bandits nearby. Graffiti is a type of vandalism and only warrants a fine. Picasso there surrendered as soon as he saw us, so we didn't need to arrest him. That said, some criminals like to try their luck. They might throw a few punches or they might take off. Both of those are arrestable offenses. Yo, this is actually- Even if the initial crime only warrants a fine. Once a perp commits an arrestable crime, you got- How do I- <laughs> Oh. Okay, uh... Get your baton out, partner! Uh... Hey! Quit struggling! You're coming with me. Oh, okay. How do I do this? You got this, partner. Wait there. You have the right to remain silent. Wake up, partner. We got suspects to arrest. I'm trying, but it's being weird. Call an escort unit to take our suspect to the precinct. Don't make it worse for yourself. Let's walk back to the station, but keep our eyes peeled. Wait a minute, I'm waiting to make sure that he gets escorted. Wouldn't it? Control 1039 in progress. Roger. So, uh, we gonna make an arrest or not? Book the suspect, and the desk officer will take custody. Just relax, will ya? I did appreciate the different ways our guy got beat up, though. Taking this dude. Here we go. Okay. In any case, we're going to need to keep this quiet. Even here in the shop. This is not for general consumption. Got it. Ah, Cordell. Come in. 
I want you to meet Detectives Lee and Ferreira, our top investigators working the organized crime beat. Heard about your baptism by fire at the bank the other day. Yeah, log 200 more like that and you'll be a real Averno cop. I don't know, look at him. I think he's got it in his bones. It's good to meet you, Cordell. Your pop was one of my heroes. That'll be all, gentlemen. So, Cordell, it seems your work at the bank the other day turned up a promising lead. We discovered a print on a dropped weapon. It matched someone who wasn't even at the scene. A Mr. Michael McKenzie, rich guy, lives in a mansion on the north side. Tactical paid him a visit a few minutes ago, but it seems he was tipped off. As soon as they breached, he sped off out the back. We're scrambling an aerial unit to track the vehicle now. Excuse me, sir. Bird is fueled, ready for wheels up in two. Martinez, this is Officer Cordell. He'll be with you on this operation. A rookie, sir? Is this the right time for- It's the right time for you to obey orders, Flight Officer. Yes, sir. See you up top, Cordell. We gotta move. I authorized you on this mission because I was impressed by your performance at the bank, Cordell. Don't make me regret this decision. Now get up there. <laughs> Let's go, Rook. We don't got all day. I'm going, I'm going. Spotlight target on the suspect vehicle to earn support tickets. When you have earned enough tokens, request support to assist in the pursuit. Request support. Suspect vehicle was last seen in. Uh, what do I want to do? Fenwick intersection six. Have you enjoyed your assignment so far? Yeah, that's fine. I'd hear it, officer. You showed real promise out there. 
Oh, we're done. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I actually really enjoyed that. I liked it, even though um, I didn't understand how to attack with the baton because it didn't tell me. Anyway, thank you for keeping me company, and I'll be back with some very soon.